Summer has arrived here in my Modesto, California, Zone 9B garden. Well, not really. Chronologically, it's still spring, but our temperatures are gonna be in the 80s and the trees are in a rapid straight state of growth. So guess what? It's time to irrigate. Hi, my name is Jeff. Welcome to the Tropical Garden Guy channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about avocado tree irrigation, especially in California. But first, if you like this channel, if you like growing exotic tropical fruit trees in marginal climates, click that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. So behind me, as you guys may have seen before, is my multi-grafted avocado tree. A lot of you guys are new to avocados and most of you may know that you're supposed to graft an avocado tree to get fruit rapidly. Planting a seed, like so many people do for a house plant will work, but you may wait a long time, sometimes 10, 20 years before you'll get any fruit. And then you don't know what you're gonna get. So best to buy, either buy your own grafted avocados or graft them yourself. And we're gonna do uh, a grafting video uh, sometime within the next month. And so you guys can learn how to graft your own avocados. But let's take a look at how I irrigate my avocado trees. And I get this question a lot because my avocado tree I have about 10 in my yard, but uh, this one right here is my main one that I do most of my demonstrations on. And a lot of folks are wondering, Jeff, you know, Central California, Northern California, we get temperatures above 110 just about every year. And how is it that your trees do not get uh, frost uh, uh, Sunday sunburn? Well, first off, take a look. This tree is really, really healthy. Um, one of the ways is proper watering. Uh, you gotta be careful with the fertilization. Uh, you know, when you fertilize your tree, you don't wanna fertilize it when it, you're getting into a heat spell. And that's one of the things that I do. But the other thing is good irrigation practices. Now, this tree, as you guys can see, is in the middle of a, my lawn. Let me back up and I'll let you guys take a look at the actual size of this tree. Now, this tree has been worked and top worked and top worked, but as you can see, it's a pretty good sized tree. I first grafted it about, I'm gonna say about seven, eight years ago is about the closest I can remember. But I planted it on a raised bed. You can see it's up on a raised bed. That works good because avocados hate standing water. It creates so many problems for it, including, um, including root rot, which is a uh, actual fungus that, that uh, grows in soil that's not well draining. And the best way to get well draining soil is to, on a raised bed with your garden soil, don't put any, uh, any uh, amendments, wood chips or anything like that in. Just use your regular soil, maybe add a little bit of sand if, you're, if you've got clay soil. But no, we're here to talk about <laughs> I keep getting off the subject. We're here to talk about irrigation. And um, like I said, it's I'm in a lawn, so my, my avocado tree is planted in a lawn, so it gets irrigation from the lawn. But we are severely restricted water rationed here in Central California, even though we get plenty of rain and we get plenty of snow. But uh, that's the way the state of California is. They just don't like us getting more water than we absolutely need. So the best way, besides the sprinklers, the best way is to make create something just like this. And I did a video, oh, a couple of years ago. As you can see, what it is, is it's a um, drip irrigation. I don't know if you can see this. It's a drip irrigation hose that I put an adapter on to. And then I put a, another adapter so that you can uh, hook up to a hose. You can find all this in your Lowe's or, 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 um, or Home Depot. The whole setup costs maybe $10. But as you can see, the water is it's just very light misting. You want to wrap that around the base of the tree. Not close to the trunk, but I would say, you know, three feet away from the tree. And you can let this thing run all night long if you really want to. It doesn't put out that much water. I'm going to guess maybe a gallon or so an hour. But that allows the water to run straight down. 
instead of sitting right on the surface of the tree. And so that's one of the secrets to uh, my success. I, my, my trees it, growing in, a front, in the front yard with covered lawn on the ground keeps the ground cool. Then whenever I do uh, irrigate my, my irrigation, besides the sprinklers that, that hit the tree, I also use a drip irrigation. It's actually a mini soaker hose. So that's pretty much it. And hey, look at that. I, I seen some fruits already setting. Here we are in April and the fruit is already starting to set. Some of the, you see all these, these flowers, a lot of folks are saying, man, if every one of those flowers produce fruit, you're gonna be really sitting in tall cotton. Well, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Very few of these, here's some fruit that's set. Very few of these tree fruits, flowers will set fruit. The first to set fruit is the big black. That's that one right there. I think there's a few on the Mexicola Grande, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update, tell you how, how it's irrigation time for your um, avocado trees in California. So yeah, now, like I said, I get, I get irrigation water for my lawn and we're pretty much only allowed to water once a week. And I water my lawn probably 10 minutes once a week, but my avocado tree requires much more water than that. The, the, the lawn would defeat the avocado tree if I didn't uh, add my little hose drip irrigation sprinkler thing set up. So yeah, I do use uh, um, standard irrigation practices for lawns. I water once, maybe 10 minutes a week. As far as my little drip irrigation gadget, it all depends on the weather and your soil type and um, the health of your tree and the temperatures. If they are like now in the 80s, I probably use that gadget maybe once or twice a week uh, overnight, say eight or 10 hours. Uh, if the temperatures are in the hundreds and above, I may use it four times a, a week uh, overnight. But it all depends on your, check your laws. And, uh, you know, local laws vary. Uh, here, we're very particular. Uh, drip irrigation, I don't think, is the same laws as uh, regular irrigation. So you might be able to get away with a little more longer uh, irrigation times. My name is Jeff. If you like this channel, click the like and subscribe button. If you're interested in my vlog channel, check out the Modesto Jeff channel. You have a wonderful day.